Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube YouTube. <laughs> What's happening with my tongue? Oh, I was eating my child's growing up, so now my tongue is a bit. Please tell me down in the comments below if you liked this video. Please tell me the one thing that stood out for you in this video and the one thing that you took in and the one thing that you are guilty of doing. Please put it down in the comments below. I would love to see your comments and I love you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so glad that you are back. It's making videos, it's my life. It's my passion. I love it. I love making videos. I am always happy when I can make a video. I'm happy. I'm glad. I'm excited to make this video today. Okay, before we get into this video, I just want to thank you guys. Every time when I make a new video, I can look back and say, you know, I got a few subscribers um, because of the previous videos that I did. And I'm just so happy about it. And it's all because of you guys. So I just want to thank you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting this channel. Um, thank you for believing in me. Because if you didn't believe in me, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have subscribed to my channel. So, I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer. I am gonna go straight to the point into this video. So, please subscribe. Please, please like. Please comment. Please do the most. Yes, guys. Let's begin. There's a few steps and a few things that you need to do in your natural journey in order for you to get to that point where you feel like, you know what, I am really happy, I am at peace, I am loving my hair. A lot of my sisters out there, you guys are so confused in your natural journey. You are unhappy, not because you want to be unhappy, but because, you know, you got to that point where you just feel like, you know, this, this is not working for me. Like, I can't do this anymore. I'm struggling. I'm not happy. I feel like going back to relaxing my hair, going back to straightening my hair, blowing my hair, putting heat on my hair every single day. It's easier for me. You know, so I am going to say with you a few things how you can get to that point of happiness i'm honest with you guys i am at that point where i am completely completely happy with my hair i am not perfect and um i accepted that i accepted the fact the fact that there's no way that when if i'm not even perfect if i am not a perfect person there is no way that i can expect of my hair to be perfect don't expect your hair to be perfect. Get to that point. Go tell yourself today if you are watching this video and you are someone who expect the hair to be perfect. Go to the, to the mirror, look at your hair, tell your hair that you know what? You don't have to be perfect. You don't, there's no way our hair is going to be perfect in every single or look perfect every single day because we're not perfect and we are looking after our hair so there is no way we can expect of our hair to be perfect if you want your hair to be every day looking all fly and quiet then you have to be perfect then you have to be quiet and slay every single day because you are the one who are looking after your hair you are the one that is making sure that your hair is the way your hair is so don't expect of yourself don't don't expect yourself to be perfect you are going to put pressure on yourself and you're just gonna go into a depression because it's gonna feel like I am not, I'm not good enough. I am not good enough. I can't look after my hair. I don't know. What am I doing wrong? You know, all that stuff. It's just going to lead to depression. So stop, breathe, relax, look yourself in the mirror, tell yourself, I'm not perfect. I am not perfect. I'm not a perfect person. So I can't expect my hair to look fly and quiet every day. The day when my hair is not perfect, you know, I am gonna love and accept it the way it is. As you guys can see now, I don't have conditioner today. 
my conditioner is finished i still have to go buy conditioner okay so um basically i don't have any product on my head today just want to show you guys so as you guys can see yeah it's not perfect you know it's not laying flat it's not perfect because i don't have and it was only a little 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 amount of conditioner that came out of the the bottle um so basically i don't really have product on my hair so i can't expect my hair now to lay all flat here and looking all quiet i still feel like there's nothing nothing wrong with my hair the way it is i was walking outside i went to go fetch my baby at the craze i was happy i'm happy as i'm sitting here i love the style i love my hair doing its own thing here you know you have to get to that point where you like sis i am accepting you speak to your hair you know speak to your hair not loudly because people are gonna think you're crazy but you know just look yourself in the mirror and it's like you know it's fine it's fine i don't have you're not looking all quiet today but you're still looking quiet you get you guys get what i'm saying you're not looking quiet in the sense of you're not laying flat and not and you're not being perfect here in front but it's fine sometimes we just have to relax in this natural journey i feel like we just have to relax like it's it's not so deep it's not so deep let's just breathe relax take it step by step day by day just breathe okay number two that i have here on my list accept your own texture it goes with number one guys so a lot of times we want our hair to look like the next person's hair and this is what i was talking about in my my video of um, how to go natural if you didn't watch my video yet please go check it out this is what i was talking about when i said that love like from a distance there is so a lot of people on social media that their hair looks so amazing and beautiful but i am not going to begeer you know i'm not going to sit at home looking at a pic and feel like why don't i have that type of hair i'm not gonna do that to myself you know that is unhealthy that's that's guys you you guys don't want to believe me when i say this is mental you know this is just as much mental as it is physical you know please know that please know that that everything that you are doing in your natural journey how you feel about yourself it's gonna always come back to that so guys please remember that be kind to yourself be kind to your hair and as you are kind to your hair you're gonna learn to be kind to yourself don't be here even the bible speaks about it Muni Bakhiri don't feel like you know why don't I have my sister's hair? Why I so badly want someone's hair and, and you know a lot of times I hear these words Yo I wish I had your hair You don't have to have my hair You know you don't have to have my hair The hair that God gave you is the hair that you were supposed to to have it's beautiful you just have to look after your hair we all have beautiful hair it's just that we don't know how to look after it because we don't spend time with ourselves and spend time with our hair try to learn our hair try to just spend the day one day in a week this day i am gonna spend washing my hair conditioning my hair brushing my hair detangling my hair i am gonna spend time with myself spend time with my hair see you know what is working for my hair and what is not working for my hair you know guys that is the thing just try to love your hair try to spend time with your hair more so that you can learn about your hair the more you learn about your hair the more you are going to see that your hair is 
beautiful you just have to take care of it you know take care of your hair you know we really have to get to that point where we accept our own texture oh i can't stress this enough guys like i am really not gonna sit at home going on social media from my phone and gonna be depressed about someone else's texture that i don't have and that's also the thing we sometimes force our hair to look different so you know you're gonna complain and say but my hair is not working i don't like this natural journey because my hair is just not working maybe what you have to ask yourself is are you trying to change your texture are you trying to change your hair you know into looking like another texture are you trying to do that what is really not working you know what is what is it what is the problem you know you have to sit and ask yourself what is what is the problem because the texture that you have that's the texture you just have to look after your hair so accept your texture accept your hair don't look at someone else's hair and want it curl your hair is beautiful just look after it then we get the, then we come to another point that i want to talk about let healthy hair be your priority your pri priority you know let healthy hair be your important thing that you focus on in your natural journey healthy hair guys i'm gonna be honest with you now you can be natural and still not looking after your hair let healthy hair be the thing that you are focusing on in your natural journey because so a lot of times you know so many times we are natural but you know we don't focus on healthy hair and that's why so many people so many women so many ladies so many of my sisters are unhappy in the natural journey and they confuse and they don't know what's going on it's because you don't focus on healthy hair. you focus on the natural um hype you focus on oh this hairstyle is now the in like i see zelda is doing this stuff and um i have to focus on this stuff because if i don't focus on this stuff the world is not gonna go on no no you know sometimes you just you don't have to do everything you don't have to do what everyone else are doing if you don't have that time if it's not important to you if it's not gonna make your hair to grow and glow and be healthy then as if you don't have time if you don't feel like doing it you don't have to do it again admire from a distance please don't feel sad and depressed because you can't make that hairstyle that i'm doing you know don't feel sad and depressed because your hair can't curl like mine you know as long as you are focusing on getting your hair healthy you are fine sis you're doing nothing wrong we're focusing on unwarige stuff unnecessary stuff this hypes that's going on in the natural journey if you can't do that if i can't make my edges you know the you can't make your edges you just if you can't make edges you can't make edges there was <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you guys now i'm talking about this because i went through it i went through it and you can only talk about stuff when you went through it so there was a time when i was just so i wasn't depressed i won't say i was depressed but i felt like less of a natural because i couldn't make it i still can't make the hairstyles that i see on instagram and youtube i can't the hairstyles that i'm making is simple daily hairstyles that you can wear to work at home on a date you know but I, this you know 
beautiful hairstyles that people are making out here i can't do it you know and it and um at some point in my natural journey i felt like um i felt so less of a natural because i couldn't do that hairstyles i felt like you know i have to make that hairstyles you know, i have to i have to, there was so at some point in my natural journey where i really pushed myself i've put a lot of pressure on myself i pressured myself i was like you have to you have to but then afterwards i was like no no you don't have to make quite hairstyles you don't have to guys and i had to get to the point where i asked myself is that type of hairstyles is it going to make my hair is it got it my hair got it my hair before that um got it for my foreign to fat in my natural journey like got my hair groei um got my hair you know got it my hair like glow got it my hair gezond maak you know if if the answer is you don't need to do that stuff in order for your hair to grow and glow then you don't need it we as naturals we getting depressed and unhappy about when what other stuff unnecessary stuff and it's really stuff that we don't really need to do in our natural journey so we really don't have to be hard on ourselves if we can't do that stuff you know i am now really not going to force myself or feel less of a natural just because i can't do hairstyles the hairstyles that i am doing it's totally fine unless i have time unless i really feel like you know what you know what i actually have time now to try and make that hairstyle but it's fine the vero gani for bai gani it's okay it's fine i can still try again next time if i really now really 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 have time or really wanna wear it hey stuff but it's not really gonna make me depressed and unhappy and cause at the end of the day my hair is going to grow and glow regardless as long as i am taking care of my hair, you know so that is just the thing let healthy hair um be important the most important thing in your natural journey all the other stuff it's add ons but focus on healthy hair you have to be worried when you don't look after your hair when you don't moisturize your hair then you have to be worried you know if you don't look after your hair you know if you don't clean your scalp every single week and um your scalp is becoming itchy and your hair is dirty and your hair is dry and stuff like that then you can ask yourself you know zalda what am i doing wrong you know i really have to i i my sock is up trick you know but all the other stuff it's add ons if you don't have time you don't have time if you can't do it you can't do it it's fine the world gaan nie om gaan nie it's fine you can go on with your natural journey you can still be happy okay and then i want to talk about go with what is working for your hair guys so i just want to explain to you um i there was a group ne there was a group on 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 facebook that i really wanted to join if you guys know you guys are familiar with this if you join a group they ask you questions and then they kind of approve you so the the question the, the statement was basically saying that you have to use this specific products in order to join the group and i was like no then i'm not going to join the group i'm not going to force myself to use only this products in order for you guys to accept me accept me in this group there is just no way i am going with what is working for me and that is why i am not stressed out in my natural journey and i feel because i am doing um doing and using what is working for my hair for other people it might seem like you are not using the right products and um, people might tell you you know what it's not curly girl approved it's not approved it's not falling under the natural hair product list 
it's you can't use that product but people don't know how you use the product it's all about how you use the product and if your hair is not drying out if your hair is not drying out if your hair is growing if your hair is glowing and if your curls are still there or your fro is on point and your hair wavy hair is just wavy you know then you really don't have to change your products i said it i said it and it's out there is no way i can force you guys to use something that um, that I am using there's no way you have to use whatever you are using now if it's working for you continue using it I can't force you I can't just because I am not um, just because I am not using curling cream it doesn't mean that you shouldn't use curling cream my experience with I was um, and just because I am sharing uh, um, sharing with you guys why I don't use curling cream doesn't say that you shouldn't go use curling cream you know I am just sharing it because I went through it and I am obviously sharing with you guys my journey but it doesn't mean that you guys now should go throw away your curling creams if curling cream is in your routine and it's working for you mentally and physically then you know what use it because it is working for you you know i feel like so a lot of times we want to tell other people what to use but we don't tell them how to use the stuff now i just throw a lot of products at you and i'm like don't use tresemme use kanto and now i am not telling you how to use kanto how i am using kanto and it, it's still gonna get to that point of it doesn't mean because I am using Kantu this type of way, it is going to work for you or the same results you're going to get from Kantu. Because it's just so, it's just, you know, with hair stuff, you can't really be certain and sure that just because our wave thickening is working for me, it's going to work for you. I can always suggest you trying it out, but... It doesn't mean that it's, you, it's, you're going to have the same results. Because I am a content natural hair content creator. Or I, don't want, I can say influencer because you don't have to have a lot of followers to be an influencer. We just have to also know that we don't, we don't have even you at home not making videos. You're an influencer because you influence someone. Maybe... Do you influencing someone without even knowing you influencing someone so you don't have to be like an influencer on social media to be an influencer you can be an influencer at home you can influence your ch your, your children you can influence your brother your sister with anything so um i would like to be a good influencer i would like to influence someone in the right direction so if i say i'm an influencer just know that i would like to think that and i would love to influence someone in the right direction so because i'm a content creator and an influencer on how i just explained to you um i constantly have to be aware of how and what i am saying to 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 naturals in the sense of um we as content creator creators and influencers we you know we tell people you can't use that and you can't use that and it's not curly girl approved and it's not approved and all that but you know what if the other thing it's working for the hair and what if it's really working for the hair and now you're saying that that is not approved and it's not good in in, in the natural journey and it's making the hair to grow it's making the hair to glow and it's making their hair healthy because of the way they're using it i am using a product that people use that is actually blowing out their hair I don't use a, I'm not using a natural hair product um, 
and it's working perfectly fine for me because of the way i am using it i know the balance i know how to use the product i know i shouldn't overuse the product i know that the same Poo, I shouldn't wash my hair with the shampoo because it contains silvates. I should only wash my scalp and I shouldn't wash my hair when my hair is still clean. I should wash my hair when my hair is dirty when I can actually see and feel that my hair is dirty and I shouldn't wash my hair a lot. We're so focused on silvates and silicones and and, and all that type of stuff. I also I did share on my my blog, a curly Z's blog, about silvates and and sil and silicones. Um, you know that it's not good for you. But even the stuff that's not good for you, if you if if you use it the right way, if you found a routine routine with that stuff and it's working for you and it's making your hair grow then just continue using it because it's working for you you know how you're using it it is working for you i can't stop you from using a product that is i can't tell you not to use a product just because it wasn't working for my hair you, you found a way to make it work and it's working and now you're gonna use a curly girl approved product and yeah you confused because you don't know how to use the product so go with what is working for your hair guys i am only putting conditioner on sometimes i felt weird for using only conditioner especially when um you know i have to explain to someone that i only use conditioner and now the pe person is like looking at me like I don't and so a lot of times I get that vibe of I don't want to listen to you because you're only using conditioner and stuff but I can't lie to you like I have to tell you what I'm using and the way I am using it and how I am using it it's working for me you see so you really have to go what is working for you and even though you are the only person doing that you don't have to feel weird even though you are using silvates and Peep and I share on my blog that silvates is bad. I also feel like we as naturals should should read the post and the stuff. Right, doesn't mean because someone is sharing on their blog about silvates that it's bad that you don't you shouldn't use it. You know that person is just sharing that silvates is bad because mo mostly silvates are bad silvates are bad but how do you use it do you use it correctly do you use it and it's working if it's working then you know so that's what else i want to talk to you that if someone is sharing something is bad then it doesn't mean that you sh it doesn't mean that you shouldn't use it it doesn't mean because now you have it at home it's working for you you should not throw it away that person is just giving you the ugly side of what it can do to you but if you have it under control and it's working for you then you aim for away it's fine don't make yourself confused and throw away stuff that's working for you you fine you all right you you a for away because um i'm like this i read something on social media and on facebook oh um someone was actually <laughs> someone actually take me into something uh, take me into um what a, a, a salon shade on the on the a salon made a post about the conditioner that i'm using that it's bad for your hair and they were listing all that type of stuff and someone actually tagged me into the post um like they shared it on my on my haul because on facebook because i'm using it and i just commented and i was like this product is working for my hair so if it's bad it's bad but it's not bad here by me so I don't know I'm I'm gonna use the product so yeah we will use what is working for you and even though someone is just sharing that it's bad it doesn't mean that it's gonna be bad 
for you. That person is just giving you the other side of it. Don't take it personal and go throw away all your stuff at home. And no, no. Okay, then the last one that I want to talk about that I have here. I saved the best for last. Enjoy your natural journey. Guys, like, do you really want to be in a relationship with someone that's not making you happy? I'm not talking about ups and downs because we all have ups and downs in our relationships and marriages. And do you really want to be with someone that's making you unhappy every single day i'm talking about that type of thing so remember you are in a relationship with your hair this journey is a relationship with your hair the reason why i'm saying that is because the more you are and that's also the nice thing about this oh i'm getting excited talking about this the nice thing about this natural journey oh Thank you, Lord, for this journey. The nice thing about this natural journey is that the more you learn about the, your hair, the more you learn about the, your hair, the more you learn about yourself. I promise you guys, I say this all the time on my Facebook and Instagram, that the more you are learning about your hair the more you are learning about yourself because you learn oh okay i'm actually patient i'm actually a patient person i am patient with my hair i just realized that i am a patient person oh wow nice so now you start to feel good about yourself because oh wow i have good qualities you know what i'm actually a good person now you learn the more you are in this journey the more you learn about yourself that oh i'm i'm actually learning to accept myself i went without makeup today to work ever since i started this natural journey oh my word i'm actually starting to love you myself wow you see you're learning about yourself you in a relationship with yourself you're learning about yourself you you starting to accept yourself it's self-love it's self-esteem it's you know it's all this good vibes going on because you the more you learn about your hair the more you learn about yourself and you can only learn about yourself and your hair if you are positive and happy and enjoying this journey you you're not going to um learn about yourself if you are unhappy so you want to learn about yourself in this journey and the only way you can learn is if you are happy in this journey so you have to be happy you have to enjoy enjoy this journey and you are going to enjoy this journey if you start with doing all the stuff that i just told you lastly enjoy take it step for step day by day and enjoy it it's it's a nice feeling to be natural it's it's a good thing it's a nice thing we are so negative on what's them like oh my word it's was day today and and i'm guilty of doing this in the past i'm gonna be honest with you i'm guilty of doing this in the past like it's so it's gonna be so a long thing like was day is gonna be so long i have to now wash my hair and after washing i have to condition my hair and then i have to dip no if you're gonna go in if you're gonna start the wash day with such a negative attitude and a mood you're not gonna enjoy it so just be positive enjoy enjoy your journey enjoy think positive vibes and also the other thing is that i want to say with you lastly that can also make you to enjoy your journey always take pictures always take videos so that you can compare the more you are going to see results the more you are going to enjoy this journey and also you're not going to be depressed and become unhappy because you're going to know that whatever you're doing in your journey you're doing it 
light guys the lighting it's gonna you see the lighting is a bit bad now because my battery is flat so i have to say bye to you guys i hope you guys took in everything i said but i really wanna help you you know even people on my facebook they know that i'm a very honest person and i can't lie to you guys and tell you otherwise i just want to be honest with you because if i'm honest with you i can help you um and that's that i love you so much guys you know why i love you because you guys subscribe to my channel you guys support me and um it's amazing how people can support you that don't even know you that for my for me it's amazing people supporting you and they don't even know you for me that's amazing and i just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel thank you so much for liking thank you so much for putting a comment it means every comment means a lot a lot um yeah guys thank you so much um i am so glad that i made this video i'm so glad that i could speak to you guys and be real and just be honest and um yeah please tell me down in the comments below if you liked this video please tell me the one thing that stood out for you in this video and the one thing that you took in and the one thing that you are guilty of doing please put it down in the comments below i would love to see your comments and i love you guys bye till next time